Hello everyone, this is Stunt to Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Thor Love and Thunder Star-Lord. Uh, so let's go over the packaging here for him. So we got the Marvel Legends logo here on the top, Thor Love and Thunder logo here on the bottom, Star-Lord, and then here is the side of Star-Lord in his new outfit and look. Here is the back with Star-Lord again, and then if you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Marvel Legends logo here in the corner, and then for this wave we're building Korg. Uh, we I uh, have the Armored Thor with the golden blue look, Jane Foster Thor, Gorda God Butcher, Valkyrie, we already did Ravenger th uh, Thor, and now we're doing the Star-Lord, and then we got Teenage Groot, here is the other side art, here is the top with the broken hammer, uh, hammer, hammer uh, logo there, and then here is the bottom with the DCPI, but besides that, let's crack them open. Here is the Thor Love and Thunder Star-Lord out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we got Korg's right arm, which is what we'll go over once we build them. And then here we have two of these energy blasters here. So yeah, you get that nice like gold look there in the inner part of the two barrels. And look at the handle. This is basically grayed out. So, but we've seen this mold before with all the other Star-Lord figures. So nothing really new here. So there's that. And that's all we got for accessories. So here is Star-Lord up close. And we're starting off with the worst part of the figure, I think, which is the head sculpt. It does not look anything like Chris Pratt. I'm not going to lie. Um, I wish they could have stick, stuck with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 head sculpt from that wave. Or the Infinity War version. But, like, this this just does not look like him at all. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think it, they could have painted it better if to make it look like him but they did not it does not look like him at all but uh yeah you get like the reddish hair there it's just flat red or like like ginger and then you get the beard here which is good um and then you get the blue eyes and then the eyebrows and everything it just does not look like chris pratt i'm sorry but this this just does not look like him at all I think they could have done a better job with the head sculpt or paint job at least. But yeah, the hair is just way too flat. I think they could have did a little wash to give it more depth. But and then here you got the jacket. Uh, this piece right here, the vest piece, that's a separate piece that you can take off, I think. I'm not going to attempt it, but I think you have to go back here and just unpeg that part there. And then get that undone and you can take it off. But I'm just going to keep that on. So you get that vest piece there. With uh, this gold zipper with the darker red. And then you got the gold buckles with this light red straps here. And then some lining sculpted. And you get this like little piece here around the shoulders with these like silver buckle pieces here. And it goes all the way around with some sculpting. And then you get his brand new jacket with his like blue trim on his left side. Uh, with some red buckles coming off of it and you get that nice sculpting there, which is pretty cool You get some shoulder pads here with the gold plates and silver leather straps around it And also forearm guards here, which also is just kind of buckled on there. You get some gold and brown detailing there brown fingerless gloves finger gun I mean finger I mean gun holding hands for his blasters uh, They're pinless. So these are these are brand new arms and then here's the other side. So this side has uh, smaller shoulder pads, whereas this one's larger. Uh, this one, I think they messed up on the paint just a little bit because you see a little bit of red in there, but it's not that big of a deal. You get some silver in there. Another shoulder, I meant not shoulder, forearm guard there. And you get the brown pants, which these are reused actually from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 figure. Because I could tell by the buckle and then the uh, thigh pegs to hold the guns for him uh, and then you also got pinned knees actually too and then you get the boots here with some actual painted details and like the last actually i think these are brand new because these are these actually yeah these are brand new actually uh so yeah uh, you get some like light brown in there then the darker brown for the buckles and then for the rest of the boot and you get the silver buckles and then yeah that's what we got for the looks so let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball jointed head that goes down that far. 
up that far, left and right motion, a little bit of head pivoting around there. Shoulders can move out that far, 360 rotation, bicep, swivel, uh, double jointed elbows, wrists hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has a uh, ab crunch, so you can go forward that far, even with the vest on, backwards none because of the jacket. And you got waist swivel, close 360 there. Uh, legs can kick out that far, forward that far, backwards none. You got thigh cut in there, double jointed knees. Uh, you do have a boot cut, but it does not want to move a whole lot, so you can just twist it just a little bit. Ankle hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that is the Thor Love and Thunder Star-Lord figure for you. Uh, like I said, I emphasized enough, I really dislike the head sculpt on this figure. I think if they did a better job with the head sculpt, I would have liked it a whole lot more or just kept it the same as the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 one. The articulation is now horrible. I'm just worried. About, like, the shoulders are very clicky. I will, I, will, I will definitely say that when you're doing, like, a rotation all the way around. It's pretty clicky, so just be aware of that. I don't know if that means anything bad's going to happen or anything. But don't have any experiences with anything bad happening when they click. I think it's just to keep them up. Uh, when you're having the blasters in his hands. Um, but yeah, uh, I like how they use some new elements to the figure and some old. So like the pants and everything are the same. The boots are brand new. Um, everything else is brand new. I just really just like that head sculpt. Um, but that's all I really got with this figure. Um, I just wish they did a little bit more detailing to make it up for it. Or just give us the actual like good head sculpt, I guess or a better sculpted head. I don't know. Um, but that's all I really got for this figure. If you guys want a more brief uh, review on this figure and you want to help support me on my other platforms like TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check out my link tree in the description. But besides that, thanks for watching.